hello there, YouTube. It took until, I don't know, it was about 1 o'clock. No, it was actually 2 o'clock when the first time the sun came out. And it was cold. It was in the it was in the 50s forever and slowly started creeping into the 60s. It's 75 now and it's 6.30 at night. For the first time, I finally, I thought I did this, but it was actually Kelly's. First time ever giving this thing an official bath. Full-fledged bath. Two hours and 45 minutes it took me. <laughs> I've only just gave her quick wipe downs. I don't think it was that clean when I got it. And as of, what, April? It's two years old as of April. It's crazy. Let's take her for a rip. This one ain't so squatted to the ground. Look at that. No bite starter thing. That's pretty cool. Yeah, looks like that clock is correct. Day's almost over. I'm just now taking off. Let's go for a little rip snort on the he. The he hemi. <laughs> oh, it's much nicer being higher off the ground. It's a little mama in her little jam jams. She's been working her butt off today. Doing more yard work. It's like, dang woman. Alright. Let's rip. Woo, look at Mount Rainier out there. If y'all can make that out. Why is it always so nice to take your bike out after it's just super super clean then at the same time you're afraid to get it dirty you almost don't want to ride it especially when you spend so much time on it <laughs> oh man it is wonderful out here perfect weather mid 70s blue skies it sure was questionable this morning though oh limo because they've logged so much of this out here. It'll all come back. It appears to be... Most of it doesn't look like it's done for land, or I don't think so anyway. It's scheduled cuts. Although this has been down a while, I don't see any new growth coming up. Bummer that bug hit my windshield or face shield because it's kind of in the way of my right eye. So Ryan and some of his buddies drove up to like Gig Harbor or something like that, and one of them picked up a uh, a 2018 Road Glide, that beautiful red, and it absolutely looks brand new. It's completely to the last nut and bolt, completely stock, and. Uh, I think it was an older dude that found himself not able to ride, or I, just my presumption. Because, uh, man, I would have something that nice. But anyway, he's a, he's a young man, young lad, and Ryan's got some videos of him driving down the freeway and pictures and stuff. 
bit of, yeah, happy, happy times. Oh, I took the wrong road. This doesn't end. It doesn't end where I thought it did. Yeah, that's a different place. I, yeah, that's the other one. That's a long way to the way. I get home by dark. Now we have face shield up. Now it's just you and I. Okay, well, I took you guys up here once in the road. They were doing a bunch of work on the road, and it was mostly gravel and stuff. These little houses all nooked in there. Love the tree line. That's a hunter's delight, hanging out on those tree lines. That's not quite the beautiful vista that I was thinking of. Yeah, I absolutely just lost my way there. I was going somewhere else. Too bad they blocked that road off. It'd be kind of cool to buzz out there. And don't ever fly on those. You know how they make that hill? It's on the other side. They've cut a ditch and used the dirt they pulled out of the ditch to make the uh, barrier. You go flying over. Look at the tire stock on there. I think I've seen that before. That's pretty bizarre. But yeah, you go flying over that thing thinking you're just going over a hump. I can make it on the Hemi. Yeah. You better go fast enough you catch air because there's a ditch on the other side. So one of the main reasons I actually have a topic today. I never have a topic. I just get on the bike and whatever just floats in my head comes out. But in mid-September, we're going back to Utah again. And uh, we're gonna hang out in Durango, Colorado is our, is our destination. But you have to go through Utah to get there. So it's essentially, I, I'm sure because he's good at organizing these things, there'll, there'll be some vistas and off turns, but it's basically the same route that uh, Kelly and I took that first um, demo spider, the 2014, the first 1330, and uh, drove to the, the spider event down there. You remember? <laughs> Oh, a couple of knuckleheads. We ended up staying in Cortez. And um, it's this cute old, like, from the 50s. Look, look out there, bird. Hotel that was just so cool. And, um, yeah, the, the big event we slept through. Woke up literally hours later and went, Ah, oh, we missed it. <laughs> so instead we... Took a little late evening ride out to the, the Four Corners out there. You guys remember that? We had our own fun. We have no regrets of missing the big Can-Am. the big parade thing through the middle of town there in Cortez or in uh, Durango. What a bummer. <laughs> but we must have needed the sleep. I like one of the best sleep I've ever had. Oh, that's great. Love the little hotel, it's so quaint and cute, and old fashioned. They had a new sign out front, but the old one was still there, it was still standing. The old ones with the neon lights and stuff. That was spectacular. So I don't know who all who all was going. I know there's a lot there was a whole bunch of talk on a forum that was built for the uh, 2023 road trip. And um uh, I'll have to get with David. Remember, he had the red Suzuki. He's been on all but the very first one. The only the only one he's missed, I think, is the was the very first Utah one, where we went through uh, Zion and all that stuff. Stayed in St. George, but uh, yeah, he's really good at organizing those things. But I don't know who else is coming. I'll let you guys know as I as I find out more. I need to go back to that that group and see who's committed and who's not but for sure there's two of us going <laughs> holy moly i don't know what temperature
temperature is that thing's very unreliable but it is cold on the top of this mountain oh oh that's that's a little bitey on the old phalanges there and a denim jacket <laughs> love this old jacket so comfortable mm. drop some elevation pick up some sunshine and it feels wonderful so anyway um, I'm pretty pretty set in my head that I'm gonna take my road king on this thing it is something about a road king man I, just that classic style removable shield and um, it's great to pop that shield off and just go bomb around town you know after a long day's ride stuck behind that thing you know and uh, plus that thing is seven shades of crazy comfortable and you know we did the Utah in 2014 on my O2 Road King Classic and then uh, I spent that six days on that 2019 Road King that I rented from Eagle Rider there in Texas and those are just two moments with a particular motorcycle that just when I think of road trips I think of those two those two trips when you think of a bike that was just amazing on the trip so you know this time I got although it had that good lord had that touring seat on the O2 um, I got that Mustang that is oh oh so comfortable and I have the matching backrest that goes with it from uh, from Mustang I'll, I'll at least carry that thing with me who knows I'm older since I took the last trip it might come in real handy <laughs> if nothing else it'll work good to pack things on them come on Hemi such a fun motorcycle there's so many of you I've met and talked to that have these things it's just it's just something you need to have in your arsenal they're cheap they're reliable you can pretty much do whatever you need to get done on it you ain't gonna win no uh, speed race or anything like that but amazing because everything at work is just so com there is a house that was not there before holy moly I can see the roof of it god has it been that long since I've been out here that old log cabin house has always been there yeah there's a house you know I remember them clearing that lot look at that that's a nice house too how about that boy they're going to have some outlooks out there I don't think anybody's living in it yet it's still in progress I'm sure they'll neatly tuck it in there and all will be fine those leaves I thought it was a chunk of a branch or something <laughs> better to avoid it and hit it look how these trees are filling in here I remember when they logged this and this was all gone I was a little bit Silver Lake at the time nothing cleared it off these little side roads went over and you had the most spectacular view of Mount Rainier now the roads are even overgrown I remember being so bummed because this thing it was old growth you know big old trees and we'll get there again I don't know if we get to be old growth in my lifetime but it's already filling in and looking real nice spectacular road absolutely lovely Got your little Himalayan that's just happy as a clam barking its way through the canyons. Brakes are fine, handling's good. How can you complain? It literally doesn't do anything wrong. Its only fault at all is getting up to speed from a stop. Once you get there, it rolls like a freight train. You 70, 75 all day long. It, 
You usually don't, you never have to shift. You can lug it down to nothing. It must have a flywheel in there that big, <laughs> the way it rides. But I used to fly off of this thing coming down. But uh, they cut the trees and it kind of weirded me out. And I've gotten, you know, 20 something years older and yeah. I can assure you not as brave and I can guarantee you not as stupid. <laughs> I remember road racing and just barking, coming into turns. And it's all front brake when you're road racing. And you find out real quick that rear brake don't do nothing. You know what we used the rear brake for? That was uh, old school traction control. I kid you not. As soon as you learn to do that, the faster you could go. Because you could roll on harder on the throttle, scrub that rear brake. And that was traction control. Kept that wheel from breaking loose on you and just wing on it. And as soon as you got in a good spot, just let go and fly. Absolutely, positively works. Probably find myself doing it still without even thinking about it because I always even though the braking power is not in rear brake, I always go through rear pads. <laughs> Whatever. You went fast, nobody's complaining. Oh, should be a sixth and seventh gear here. But anyway, I think I'm gonna cut out early here and uh, cause it's gonna be full face sun here pretty quick. And I'm gonna rip home, let this thing cool off, put her away, cry over the bugs that are all over the windshield and probably the headlight and the front of the tank and everything else. And uh, put her away, put her to sleep for the night. And uh, go chit chat with a goodbye here in a little bit. Look at them roll bells out there, isn't that beautiful? I didn't miss all that when I was coming through. Woo wee! <laughs> Hello there, YouTube. Man, it's it's crazy how it's getting darker. I mean, the sunset's what nine oh four or something tonight, so we're losing sunset for sure. But uh, yeah, the the sunset's hiding behind the mountains. Mm -hmm. It just seems odd because it just happened all of a sudden. It seems like. Right. But anyway, time marches on. It does. So that was nice to get the old Himalayan all dialed up and. Washed up, first official wash since I got that thing. That's, That's crazy. Sad. Just little touch ups here and there. Most of the time I just ride it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that was a fun ride. Looking for the, forward to the trip in September. I've still got the BMW thing in Atlanta in August. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. BRP. Yeah. Who are who are I say? BMW. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, BRP. It's for the spiders. Yes. The spider side of BRP. Yeah. But anyway, on that, we're going to bounce. All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. See you in the morning. <laughs> Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye.